Hi, I'm Doug Stewart from Wave Marketing Direct and welcome to my weekly video tutorial. This week's tutorial is on a great little bit of software called Quick 3D Cover and basically this is a generator that allows you to make images uh, for if you're selling information products such as DVDs, CDs, ebooks, reports, etc. What I suggest you do is um, to get all your images together into one folder and that way it makes it much easier later on when you come to upload them onto the template. So I'm going to go through this with you just to let you see what it's capable of doing and to start off with we have the preview box here. Now this basically allows you to see which template has been used at the time. In this case it's a box. Uh, off to the left here we have the template gallery. There's about 94 templates altogether, so quite a good selection. And I'll just run through those quickly with you just to let you see what is available. So starting off we have the boxes, uh, different shapes and sizes, different angles, which would be great if you're um, selling a set of some kind. Then we come on to the discs. There's only three uh, templates of those. After those we've got the CD dual cases. Then we've got the DVD cases. We've got some without discs, some with discs, some closed and also some that are open. Then after those we have the books, uh, different angles, different shapes and sizes again. Quite a good selection. And then we'll come on to the flatter um, books which are great if you're selling or giving away reports or e-zines. Next to those we've got the PC monitors. So for example if you were wanting to promote your uh, web page or your website all you need to do would be to capture the screen and then upload the image onto one of these templates. Then after the monitors we've got some cell phones, some folders, uh, some clipboards and then finally we've got some cards which would be great uh, for promoting membership websites or something along those lines. And also we've got a couple of vinyl discs at the end, so if you were selling any of the old vinyls on eBay, then maybe one of these would be a good uh, template to have. So in order to get some images onto the template, you need to come down to these boxes that are underneath. And everywhere you see a red check mark, that's where an, an image needs to be loaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring up my image box and just double click on that. And as you can see there's one already made up so I'll just double click on the image and it'll load it straight onto the template. Next to that I've got a side image so again I'll just double click on the side image and there you have ready to go. It's as simple as that. You also have the options on the right here to either show or hide the reflection so if you just uncheck the show box the reflection disappears. Up here we've got a, a palette color palette so for the background you have an option of all these different colors and also you have the option to make the background transparent so if you were actually making a set you could um, just check on the transparent background and that would allow you to put in DVD cases or CD cases as, as well and talking of DVD cases and CD cases if I come back down to um, one of the templates and I just click on the DVD case for example, you can see that the image has already gone into that so it's already done for you. Just a word of advice if you're going to be using discs when you come to um, editing or making up your image in Photoshop or Fireworks or PaintShop Pro whichever one you might be using, um, just make sure that the actual so a heading of your project is high enough to be above the, the center of the disk. I'll just give you an example to show you what I mean. So if I click on the disk here, and I'll use this same image that I've been using. And as you can see, the actual heading is actually running through the center of the disk, so it doesn't look too good. So it's just something to remember when you're actually making the, the images, if you're going to use the same, just make sure that the, the heading is above or below the center of the disk. So now if you want to save this image what you need to do is to come to save picture just double click that and it brings up the format that you can save them into. So you have PNG, BMP, JPEG or GIF and then underneath you have the resolution as well. So all you need to do now is to click on OK and the image will be saved to your folder. 
You can actually download a trial copy of this from www.nervepreserve.com or if you're wanting a bit more freedom in your um, project you can go to www.wavemarketing.co.uk and there on the uh, home page at the bottom there's a link to a product called Cover Action. Now this is for um, Photoshop 7 or above. Uh, again it gives you much more freedom to to install your images or to make up your own images and actually put them into these templates so it's exactly the same kind of thing but um, for example if you wanted to have gradients or anything like that then using Photoshop will enable you to do that so I hope this has given you a bit of an idea if you're looking for something for your projects um, this is Doug Stewart from Wave Marketing Direct thank you for listening and until next time, take care.